All right, what is up, you guys? It's the Sandman back at it again. It's been a while since I've done an Avenged Sevenfold reaction, man. But I do have some on the channel. Make sure you guys check those out. Like and subscribe as well if you guys like the content. But I saw these guys live last night. Well, Friday night, so two days ago. Oh, my goodness, man. I was absolutely blown away. Matt Shadows really blew me away with his vocal performance, man. That was my big takeaway from the night. Um... So, so much to unpack from that concert, man. They played a lot of their songs and the newer stuff that I haven't heard, um, like this song, for example. So I might recognize it from the concert, but I have no idea what this sounds right now. Um, but I know it was on the set list. So we're going to see We Love You from the latest album, I believe. Let's go. Right away, the experimentation is crazy. I mean, I've heard, I haven't heard their last album front to back, besides, of course, what I heard at the live concert. Um, but again, right away, this the, the dissonance, the chords, the tones, and the, and the effects on the vocals. I mean, it's very different, man. So no wonder why people may be polarized by some of this stuff. But I'm very interested. Very interested. Was not expecting this at all. What is going on here? What? That? This song is so bizarre, <laughs> but I 
I don't even, it's not even connecting the dots in my head to the show, man. Maybe they played it differently at the show. I have to watch like concert videos of that song. And I'm being to question if it was even on the set list. I mean, it probably was because I've seen it. Because I know looking, going into the show, I was looking at the set list from, you know, a couple nights before at this other city and this other city, this other city. So I saw the song come up. So I'm sure they did play it. And that one part, um, look at the way you go. That part sounds familiar, but everything else is just, must have been a blur, man. I had a heck of a time. But um, this solo, this rhythm section of the solo uh, is absolutely phenomenal. I might even like it better than the actual guitar solo, as great as Sinister Gates is. Maybe he laid down the rhythm track as well, or, or Zaggy Vengeance, whichever one. But it's just fast. It's wicked fast. Um, and I love the chuggy riff in, in these more, more in that section. Um, so many variations in tone. Kind of reminds me of like a Pantera type tone there going on. Um, but man, I'm just, let's just get back into it, man. I'm just lost for words right now. I don't know what to even say. Let's go. Yeah. Yep. Woo! man this is definitely even the studio version i never like this raspiness this like evolution of his voice because I, I it's been a bunch of albums since i listened to like i guess consistently maybe up till 2013 of their work so until then i mean i'm sure his voice but this is a weak, cool little grit and rasp that he's got going on here that sounds unique to me Acoustic section now. This is what I thought the song would sound like. A lot of like a ballad, like some acoustic ballad or something.
Now I'm sure they played it because I do remember Sinister Gates up there with the slide guitar. Uh, excuse me. With the, uh, yeah, with the slide. So I do, I'm sure they definitely did play this. Um, but man. Man, what? Like, where do I even go with this, man? It's just so... Like, okay, the drumming. Let's start there. The drumming is absolutely fierce, technical. I have no idea they had, okay, so there was obviously the, the Rev, and then they had somebody else, but I think they got a new guy recently too, because I see these comments on like some of the 2024 tour, like videos of the tour on YouTube, that this guy, they're commenting on somebody, Matt, or something like that, um, so I think that might be the drummer, but this guy is kicking ass on this track, so, like even the little stops and starts, stops and starts, stops and starts, you got the double, the double bass going, so frantic, so tight, and so just clinical. Um, let's go into this real quick. Yeah, and you got this little kind of drum, like it's almost like a dubstep or EDM kind of kind of thing sound they got going on just with the percussion here. And then the sirens in the back, like... Yeah, and look, even little things, like hear the guitar here, it's a little offbeat, but I think it's like tastefully included like that, but like, there's some like unsettling things they got going on. It's very, almost like avant-garde, like they're just throwing stuff in there and, you know, this is important. Yeah, it's like weird. Now, now it's back on time. So there's that. There's that riff, which I really like. This like my that's, that's remind me of like a Pantera type of tone. I'm not a tone expert or anything, but that's what comes to mind at least when I hear that. And then some badass vocals, some really, I love these harsh vocals here, man. I think the age in his voice really helps like bring out this new, it's like this new sound, the vocal sound. Um, again, the grit, the rasp is, is like, like that, that is intense. That's intense. And there's the drumming here. And they carry, and he carries into solo set, into the solo, man. Again, I like the underlying rhythm more so than even just the the, the solo itself under here, man. Both the guitar and the the drums. Um, and oh yeah, of course a beautiful slide outro, get to sick outro is just great. That actually might be one of my favorite parts of the song. Um, the do unto the mile, I like that, and I like this. Um, I also like the. Um, Look at the way you choose. I like this vocal line here, some beautiful melody. And look at that. It's just it's something, this little, this little thing, sunny day. It's like this little, whole little 10 second, like part of a song, a whole different song, just threw in right there. So I don't know, man. I'm just gonna, I don't wanna overanalyze this right now. You guys don't have the time for that if you stuck around this long. But it's a very surprising song. Very surprising song. I do like parts of this song. 
Some other stuff I'm just gonna have to get used to. It's just a matter of getting used to it. I'm sure, I mean, I loved every single second of their live show though. And I know I must have been really loving this, this song on their set. So I'm sure, you know, in the moment, like for me, it was great. Um, but this is gonna definitely get me some getting used to. However, there's some, the musicianship right here is very, very class. It's very tight, super technical. Um, even like riffs on the guitars, very fast, heavy, a lot of variants here. So if they were to pull this off live, like I'm thinking they did, oh my gosh, mad respect to these guys. Um, but yeah, but yeah, man, match, throwing a lot, a ton of versatility in this song as well. And I'm wondering how long this took to come up with in the studio. So many different elements, sound effects, new sections, um, completely clashing and contrasting with each other. I mean, it, it's just a, it's just a whirlwind, man. It's like a whole melting pot of sounds and even dare I say genres coming into this. So, um, like, see, they use that vocal effect in the beginning and never return to it. Oh, that was a nice little bass lick, though. Nice little escal escalating bass lick there. But yeah, um, so looking into the song a little bit, I hear people talk about like being kind of message against capitalism or against like how we desire to build, build and create, 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 but then we're kind of digging ourselves into the ground, um, making ourselves faster, more efficient. You got AI coming along. Um, and look at the way you go is kind of like, doing to the top, doing to the end. This is like, this is hard for me to even know, like all of this, more speed, more drive, more time. Like I get this, the idea of improving, improving as a people, as a society, even though it'll, it, it can lead to destruction. Um, look at the way you go, you're one in a million and all that you are was all you deserved anyway. Because I think you're seeking those same aspirations, but you're too short-sighted to know the impact of it. Um, but even still, we love you. So like we're, we still appreciate you for trying, you know, to, to achieve those things, despite you knowing, you know, you, you might destroy stuff around you and stuff like that. So I don't know who the you is. So we're gonna have to see, maybe it's the planet, you know, um, all you deserve anyway, you're one in a million. I mean, it could be the planet earth, man. I mean, hard to say, but yeah, we love you. Bench Sevenfold, interesting song to say the least. But they definitely kicked ass live. So one of the best experiences of my life. It's the same man checking out. Peace.